boys are in, the boys to entertain you. With music and laughter to help you on your way, to raising the rafters with a hey, hey, hey. With songs and sketches and jokes old and new, with us about the you and Phil Blue. So meet the gang, cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. B-O-B-O-Y-S, boys to entertain you. The gang cause the boys are here, the boys to entertain you. And everything is top hole, sir. Ice cream Allah, ice cream Allah, ice cream Allah. No way, job. You are quite right, sir. This Indian ice cream is made of cholera and all sorts of nasty things. Go on, Jao, 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 Jao. Tonirwala, Tonirwala, Sahib, Tonirwala. Tonirwala, Jao, Jao. Oh, you silly fellow, don't you know that British officer subs do not cut toenails while train is standing at his station? <laughs> Everything all right, Ashton? Ashton's first class. I'd say I didn't know where to go, of course, on the northwest frontier. Well, old Plunkett Seabag was dead keen when we were at Harrow. Now, I dare say he's fixed something up. Who exactly is he? Oh, Plunk is a peer. Petty officer? Oh, don't be a fool, Ashton. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Well, he's a political officer. It's his job to keep the tribesmen quiet. Wretched British troops haven't had any entertainment for ages, you know. Rotten life for them. No canteen, no amenities, and what's worse, no women. They don't know what to do with themselves. No women, eh? That sort of thing plays havoc with the chaps. Well, of course it does. Can't they put something in the tea? Well, I believe they have. <laughs> <laughs> if our concert party gives them a few turns, I'm sure it'll raise their morale. <laughs> yes, of course. They can dress up as girls in skirts and lipstick and so on. That's almost as good, isn't it? No, not really. <laughs> Banu makes a nice outing for us, doesn't it? Come on, long nosher, don't stand around like a spare thing at a wedding. Come on, get them bonducks on the rack. Come on, get with that one. Got my dress in. Ice cream, 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 Ice <laughs> yes! They are real soldiers, them tribe men, aren't they gonna suck them? Yes, Sergeant Major. And when they see you, they will have a breakdown. Yes, Sergeant Major. Get that stinking urn out of my sight! Hey! What do you think you're doing here, you tipping fellow? I'm official tower of the concert party. Get lost, you scaramander of a ghost. Official Do them buttons up on your shirt, get a Macintosh. This is the army and not a day trip to Brighton. Get a parking. Sir. Smart boy, shoulders back. Find a better shoulder, show them off, show them off. Yes, sir. <laughs> Gold ring, Wala! Gold ring, Wala! Gold ring, Sam! Gold ring! Look! In acid! Real gold! <laughs> Don't touch it, Sergeant Major. It's not real acid. Look. There you are. Go on, jail! What was you in City Street? Solomon's a pawnbroker? Actually, my father. Shut up! I'm <laughs> getting on with them baskets. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> You like my sister? What? You like my sister? Oh, do you think so? I suppose side view, yes. <laughs> you like my sister? Side of Major, it's the comfort walla. Take charge of your you. I need to get this stinky shower. Turn off these platforms. We're not going to miss him. Go get it! Go yourself! Very gently, very gently, please, and be very careful. You like my sister? Uh, no, not very much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Come now, forward, bring it round that, yeah, round that way. Now, lower it and be very careful. Oh, you wretched fellows, it'll all be out of tune again. Just what's going on? Come on. Well, Solly, they bashed it all out of tune. Listen. Now, oh, listen to that. Don't take me out. Come on, get it on the train. Ciao, big guy. Reserve room 
for friends and fellow workers. And all is in order, sahab, because I have bribed the station master officially. And where do you think you're going? I'm taking my place. Not until you paid me five rupees. What? Five rupees? How do you think I'm bribing station master with Scotch miss, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You are most kind. Now, wait. One moment. One moment, please. You have not paid me for smelly goat. Now, smelly goat is one rupee extra. Sab, will you be holding this animal while I am doing transaction? Oh, no, 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 sir. I don't want the smelly thing. Really? Could you mind taking your own? Over it now, and I will give you bunk up. This is my mother-in-law. Oh. And I'm dropping her off in Delhi while train is doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Come on, up you go, you old bag. <laughs> no, no, sir. She does not speak English. I was just telling the bombardier, sir, that you are ignorant old cow. <laughs> I fell a solid click. Everything under control, Mum Dear. Sir, I hope you've brought all your dresses and things. Oh yes, I've got a new one. It's uh, it's flame taffeta with a split right up to here. Oh, good show. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> We shall be on the train for five days. I want you all to make yourselves comfortable. Five days? What do we do about Connor, sir? No, we stop at stations and food will be served in the European dining room. Will there be any chips? <laughs> <laughs> amusing fellow. Graves, isn't it? Uh, Evans, actually. Oh, yes, sir. of course. Very amusing. <laughs> I do not care how long you've been with Indian Railways. Paddington General was never like this. Is yes. that stuff loaded, Bombardier? Sir, it's all right. Honestly, it's miles up. It's going to take me hours. Oh, good morning, Sergeant Oh, good morning, Sergeant Mitch. Shut up! <laughs> right, lovely boy, get that mob off the roof of that train. I will do no such thing. Why do you be thinking you are the only people who can travel on our train? That is dangerous, boy. We go through a tunnel, they get knocked off. Oh, no, 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 Sergeant Mitch. When we go through a tunnel, they crouch very low. Shut up! Why are you running? You are inside in comfort? You call this comfort? Oh, I'm not having it. They'll, they'll spit beetle nut through the ventilators. If I was the poor Indian on that roof, and so all you British lying there luxurious, more than a beetle nut would come through that ventilator. Time it is up. I will remove from them all beetle nut and chewing things except chapati. Shut up! Time for time to go. Don't you blow that whistle? My I... men are not yet loaded. I'll blow my damn whistle when it's time to blow my damn whistle. Get a Macintosh! Uh... Stand by to pull the communication cord. I'll get fined if I do that. You'll get junkers if you don't. <laughs> Put a cord! Keep the cord alone! Pull the cord! Keep it alone! Do you think I should interfere, sir? I shouldn't. I expect the sergeant major's got everything under control. Six o'clock, Ashford. Time for a cheddar bag, eh? Oh, wizard. Shall I serve? Yes, go ahead. Pink gin, sir? Oh, yes, please. Sergeant Major, care for a pink gin? It's very good for the voice. You had a hard time of it on the platform. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> King's regulations clearly state that uh, officers and other ranks should not drink in each other's company. So you're a warrant officer? Oh, well, uh, in that case, I'll have a straight gin, sir. <laughs> Pink gin is for commissioned officers only. <laughs> Surely you have a touch of Angostura? Big pardon, sir. <laughs> I said, Surely you have a touch of Angostura? No, sir, it's these uh, Indian cottages. They always get a bit poggy when it's hot. <laughs> Fancy travelling 1,200 miles in these conditions, just to give a few overprivileged officers a show. We won't get shot up by the tribesmen, will we? <laughs> nah. They get dropsy from the British government. 
Each Ed Tribesman gets ten golden sovereigns a month to keep the fingers off the trigger. Oh. And you know what is sometimes happening, sir? They take the ten golden guineas, then they buy big chatties of Pakopani, which they drink all night, and then they are shooting all the same. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. The death of some with real bullets. <laughs> <laughs> that is the cunning of the British government, sir. Because when they are full of buckle barney, they cannot shoot you straight. <laughs> Can she give a poker, sir? Yes, anything past the time. How about you, Sergeant Major? Good mind, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we won't play for money. <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir. Could you uh, ask the poker wallet to direct the fan this way from time to time? Yes, of course. Punkawala, fan career of the Sergeant Major from time to time, will you? He gets up. You seem to have their lingo off to a tea, sir. Oh, just practice, that's all. <laughs> Much cooler, sir. Much oh, cooler. good, good. You know, I like this Indian idea of having a block of ice in the first class compartment. It certainly cools things down. I remember once when I was on my way to Benares, just before the monsoon, it was so hot we had actually to sit on the ice. Did it do any good? Up to a point, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try it? Requiring her chapati. Chapati chapati tayare. Chipkali ki tara chipke chipke yahan paiche to hamar gala sukh gaya. Is third personal pe se ki rahi to hamari hatti pasli chikna chur ho jaye. Ranji mein come on, take it, you greedy old dustbin. Because these foolish railway people have made ventilator too small for hand and chapati. <laughs> Shove it through long ways. Huh? Oh, no, no, sir. If we go long ways, all the curry fall out through the end. Well, why don't you uh, chop it up and give her a little bit at a time? <laughs> oh, sir, of course. If only I had your great brain. Yeah. University education comes in very handy. Especially when it comes to shoving your parties through ventilators. <laughs> your turn to sit on the ice, sir. Very similar, will you, sir? Anybody fancy a cup of chalk? Oh, I wouldn't say no. And there should be all of it. There you go. Excuse me, Bobby. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> Can you see anything, Sergeant Major? Oh, yes, thank you, sir. The ice is melting rather fast. <laughs> Sergeant Major, hot bottom. <laughs> Will take the high road and I will take the low road. I will be in Scotland of course. Our three tunners in trouble, sir. Oh uh, dear. Yeah. See if you can give them a hand, Sergeant Major. Very good, sir. Of it, Nosha. Well, it's the heat, isn't it? It stands to reason. What is it then? Big end, Sergeant Major. I see, Sergeant Major. There's no tow rope on the Jeep. How do you account for that? You signed for the truck, sir. It's <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sign for a tow rope in it, sir. How dare stupid of me. I could kick myself. I really could. How much further to Banu, Sergeant Major? About 30 miles, sir. Oh, Colonel Sam! Shut up! <laughs> I'm delighted. What does he want, Ashwood? A big pardon, sir? I said, what does he want? Who? Uh, what do you want, Bearer? Oh, if it please you, Colonel Saab, there is one signpost very nearly. Right, George, he's right. Let's have a decker. <laughs> What's it say? <laughs> it say, on this spot, on June 4th, 
1896, Sergeant Major Conliff and eight men were ambushed by tribesmen. <laughs> May they rest in peace. I've got to sit down. Oh, my headache's coming on. Oh, don't worry, sir. That 1896, tribesmen friendly now, nearly all time. <laughs> Here. What's that flashing? What flashing? That flashing there. <laughs> what do you make of it, Ashwood? I would say, sir, it was caused by something reflecting the sun's rays. <laughs> I'm going to be sick. <laughs> it's signalling, sir. Can't be our chaps. There aren't any British troops for miles. Well, there's obviously nothing to worry about. We'd better get out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> here, look, sir. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the has burned right up. Didn't you switch it off, Sergeant Major? I left you in charge of the vehicle, sir. Gosh, how could I have done such a stupid thing? I say, could we get moving? The heat's playing absolute havoc with the piano. Get down, you at the double! Time. <laughs> 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 Sir, right, move yourself. Come on, move it. Don't worry, lads. Sir, Robert, he's got. Doesn't matter. Five rupees for people for putting out fire. Get stuff. Come on. I'm going to speak to the mayor. Oh, absolutely first-class ideas. <laughs> <laughs> the men are fighting, sir. Good. And now listen, chaps. Uh, Banu is thirty miles away. Our vehicles are U.S. So we need one of us, uh, one of you, to go and get help. <laughs> Carry on, Sergeant Major. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> right, boys. You heard what the officer said. We need a volunteer. <laughs> What's help? That's got to be got. I'd like to volunteer, Sergeant Major. Stay where you are, Parkin. I will select the volunteer. <laughs> now, it is quite clear to me that there is one man in this unit who is best equipped to stand up to the Riyuaz of this Farage. <laughs> you. You yeah, Sergeant Major. You got the art. I don't mind lending it. Yes, boy. And you will have the honor of saving the regiment. <laughs> now, you're going to need a lot of water, and we're going to make sure you get it. That's your juggles, boys. I'm afraid we're nearly out of Angus Tourists, huh? <laughs> Things are getting damn serious. <laughs> yeah, do our lovely boy. Now then, you walk for about two hours, then you have a nice long rest for about five minutes. <laughs> a couple of mouthfuls of water. You should do it in two days easy. <laughs> good luck, Boyle. Good luck. Yeah. Yes, good luck. I shan't forget this, Gunner. Um, Gunner, uh, what's your name? Sugden, sir. I shan't forget this, uh, Gunner Sugden. Just keep going. You can't miss it. Shall I take me gun? Ah, that's quite a point. We don't want to provoke the tribesman. On the other hand, he is a soldier. That's a matter of opinion, sir. Across <laughs> the third row of the stall, sir. Well, that decides it then. Go unarmed. Off you go then, lovely boy. No. <laughs> no. Be seeing you then. <laughs> oh my goodness me! We British always being so brave brings tears to eyes. And mine. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I have a word with you. <laughs> 
can uh, spot a trouble by you, sir. I think we ought to uh, send out scouts, put out a few pickets. Oh, we're not at war with these people. They're perfectly peaceful. All we have to do is to wait until Gunner... Um, Gunner... Sugden, sir. Sugden uh, comes back with help. <laughs> Water boy. <laughs> Where are you hiding? <laughs> if you don't come out, I am going to get pretty damn cross. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I took the wrong road. Answers, Can't make no train of it, sir. It, it is in Pushtu, Colonel Thaw. Permit me to translate. <coughs> it say, they are caught like rats in trap. <laughs> That's it. I knew it. We should never have come here alone. They should have sent some soldiers with us. <laughs> Can't you see what they're doing to us? They're playing with us like a little boy plays with a yo-yo. Let's go. Now, listen, men. There's absolutely no reason to believe that this message refers to us. Take the Do you know that side? Stay away! Right, hold your right files. Maggie Josh, you are going to Graham on the left. Got a bombard. Got a bombard. Sir. Keep an eye on my rear. <laughs> that way. <laughs> I came from about uh, 700 yards, sir. Right, keep your eye open on them hills, boys. Let me know if you see anything. Get a park in. Yes, sir. Keep your head down, son. <laughs> I see, the sergeant means awfully good, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good man to have in a tight spot. <laughs> There's someone coming around the corner, sir. <laughs> Keep them covered and don't shoot. Oh, that's right. Keep them covered and don't shoot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That are always being so calm when chips are down, isn't it? <laughs> it's lofty, sir. Right. We'll bring him in. Bombardier, you come with me. The rest of you keep us covered. <laughs> Lofty, what happened? I got captured by a tribesman. Oh, really? Did they give you a rough time? No, they give me a carpet. A carpet? What the heck for? Tell me, sir. <laughs> it is what they are calling conference carpet. They are wanting to be seated on carpet with Colonel Zab and to have conference. I don't smear the textuals here. <laughs> well, don't offend the mashroom. Well, I can't stand tobacco. Oh, but Zab, that is not tobacco, that is cow dung. <laughs> Do not worry, Sabi, it is some secret cow. You must carefully mix it with beautiful herbs and spicy things. Go on, Ashwood. You need to inhale it. <clears throat> oh, no need to do that, Sab. Oh, I might catch something. Oh, no, Sab. That smoke kills absolutely everything. <laughs> <laughs> Seem quite friendly to me. Well, I wouldn't trust him, sir. Aapka khatoon kaisa hai? Colonel Saab, he say, how is your wife? Oh, very well. Colonel Saab bolte hai ki aapne bivi bilkul teek hai. Aur aapka dousra bivi kaisa hai? Colonel Saab, he say, how is your second wife? <laughs> Tell him I do not have a second wife. Achha, Colonel Saab. Colonel Saab bolte hai ke dousra da bibi to ne hai. To kya dousra bibi khridega? Colonel Saab, he say, would you like to buy a second wife? <laughs> well, uh, what are they up to? Why don't they come to the point? Solly, don't let them take me alive. 
Finish me off before they start me with those great big knives. <laughs> Tell him we are Royal Artillery Roadshow. Acha, Colonel Saab. Colonel Saab bolte hai ki ham log Royal Artillery Roadshow hai. Oh, Roadshow. Hamne sara Roadshow dekha hai. Acha, Colonel Saab. He said that he has seen every Roadshow. Road to Morocco. Road to. <laughs> Singapore, Road to Rio, we've seen everything. We've got it all wrong. Show me Bing Crosby. That's done it. No. No, we haven't got Bing Crosby. You're saying that the dead piece of the... Colonel Saab, he say you're a lying monkey. This is a very bad thing. Go Bing Crosby. Colonel Saab, he said that you are hiding Bing Crosby and 100 rifles pointing at us, and he said, bring Bing before him. We haven't got Bing Crosby. They come. I will get to the end. And after that, Bing Crosby has not been born. So I will get to the end. Colonel Saab, he said, they count up to ten, then if no bing, they go bang. Thank you, folks. Thank you, folks. Thank you. I just want to say how really great it is for me to be here in little old India. Chief Khan Saab, वो बोलते हैं कि इन लोग इंडिया में बहुत खुश हैं। हाँ हाँ क्यों नहीं? अच्छा। Now this tired old baritone is going to groan his way through a few numbers we used to sing for Uncle Sam. And to give us her invaluable support, that lovely little lady, Miss Dorothy Lamour. Certainly know the right thing to wear. Aapke le baas boat acha hai. Bo 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 bo. Be very pleased with the show. I think it's absolutely first class. Colonel Saab, the Chief Khan Saab wants to give you this beautiful camel saddle rug. Oh, how jolly kind. And we ought to give something back, oughtn't we? Oh, Colonel Saab, the Chief Khan Saab knows what he wants. Oh, good. What is it? Colonel Saab, he wants Dorothy Lamour. Touch spot here, Sergeant Will you tell Gunnar Bowman, or shall I? <laughs> carry on, Sergeant Major, carry on. <laughs> Boys to entertain you. Boys to entertain you. 